Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thank you very much for joining us. Welcome to qualifying for the first Grand Prix of the season, the Bahrain Grand Prix. Grand Prix? Uh, and we are we are with Aston Martin uh, and uh, this is our first ever race. I'm excited, I'm nervous, uh, I'm going to get it all wrong and they're trusting me with a strategy. What the hell? The team have them work on three goals during practice. Track acclimatization, car parts knowledge, and setup confidence. Okay. If you manage the session yourself, you might get an even better performance from the drivers for the rest of the Well, you wouldn't let me do that, but fair enough. Thanks, Audrey. Uh, so you can see here, 100% acclimatization to the track. I would imagine all race drivers know the tracks pretty well by now, right? They've been racing them. I'm sure there's little tweaks and changes, but they have simulators and all that stuff. Uh, setup confidence is 70%. Performance bonus... 11 of 15 and 11 of 15 so looks like they've got a little bit better in terms of that great right time for qualifying our results here will determine where we start on the grid for sunday's race okay qualifying takes place over three knockout rounds and only the fastest drivers will advance each time okay so what i don't know about qualifying is how many laps you're allowed to do, how many you should do for your tyres, those sorts of things. Because don't you have to keep your tyres or something along those lines? We're going to, I guess we'll find this out as we go. Um, okay, so let's hit continue. We're happy with all of these. The, the run plan is one flying lap, which makes sense, right? You want to put them out, let them do their normal lap, you know, because you can't have a lap timed from the pit lane then do a full fast lap and then do another uh, in lap that seems fine let's car one ready car two ready we're good to go same as practice the team can handle qualifying for you if you like let's get you hands on for this round though just to make sure you're feeling confident before race day kicks off here we go I want to manage the qualifying session. You brought me here for this. This is what I'm built to do. possible lap times, so we can advance to the next round of qualifying. The slowest five cars will be knocked out. Okay. We hear you. Keep a careful eye on time remaining. The time limit on qualifying rounds really ramps up the pressure. Okay. Right then. Let's get a car out on the track for its first run and see how it goes. Yeah. I love the fact that we haven't done anything with tyres. We, we're on the soft tyres. It makes sense, right? You want to send out for your quickest possible lap. So you're always realistically going to be on soft tyres unless something else happens. And Vettel is going straight out. Let's hope nobody else goes out. We've taken the, the blankets off the tyres. I love that you have little tyre warmers. So here he is. I do like that this is kind of... This is, this is Formula 1 racing game graphics. Maybe toned down a little bit. But in a in a management game right it looks a little bit ropey around the rough around the edges right but here we go oh yeah some some slightly slightly dodgy stuff going on we're the only one on the track should we send out stroll as well come on then go get out there before before vettel gets around here come on we might as well have them both doing it right i guess one of the benefits of going later is there'll be more rubber on the track so you can see the action as it happens. Okay. You can also use the map view if you like. It gives you a good overview of the whole track and all the cars. Right. Remember you're managing two drivers throughout the session. So make sure to keep an eye on both. Yeah, but we only like Vettel, really. Okay. So we can change the camera. This is like the broadcast camera, I guess. Oh, I like this. I like this. Here we go. Remember, this is just our, our out, our out, no, our in lap. I mean, it's not it's not the smoothest to drive in Vettel. Okay, there's the... I know this thing's called a halo. I know that. That's exciting, right? And down here, okay. And then we're back to this one, which I think I prefer, but... And then we can do this where we can see people over the over top. Why isn't anyone else left? They're not going to come out whilst we go and do our first lap, are they? I bet that's what they're going to do. Automatic mode, take manual control. No, we... Get out of here. I don't want to 
I don't want to take manual control. Take manual control. Manual control will give you full control over pace, lift, and coast. The RS strategies. This will only last for duration of this run on track. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. I'm quite happy with automatic mode happening. Is there a way of getting? There we go. We can get rid of it by coming down here. Fine. Okay. So we're coming round to start our flying lap. No one's come out of the pits yet, which is great. Maybe they're just being kind and letting us letting us go for it. The, the flaps are open in the wing. I think that means DRS or ERS. I'm not sure which one of it is 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 active, and that should give us a boost of airflow and make us a little bit quicker. Something to do with downforce. Don't really understand it. Okay. So I think we might get pole. There it is, we're into section two where we can once again run the DRS. If I get all these terms wrong, I apologize, please correct me. Oh no, someone's coming out on the track in front of Stroll. Who's that? Who is that? Who are you? How do I tell who that is? Come on Vettel, you've got this. Okay. Vettel's flying round. I mean, we know our car isn't great. Anywhere middle of the pack would be amazing. Happy to let these tires cool a bit. What? Tires moderately overheating. Why would we want to let them cool? We're on a flying lap. What's that all about? I don't feel like that's true at all. I'm happy to let them get hotter. I guess that's why I would take over automatic mode, right? Let's get the first lap done and then we'll do it. Uh, Stroll is absolutely catching whoever this is, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, this is bad news. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. It's an Alfa Romeo. Time for a flying lap. Keep an eye on the standings throughout the session and try and keep the drivers out of the knockout zone. Okay, we hear you. Right then. That qualifying run is done, so the driver will return to the pits now. Well, I figured that out. I know everything happens so fast over a race weekend. But if you need to catch your breath, you can pause for as long as you like. Or, if things aren't moving fast enough for you, you can speed up a little. Okay, thank you. Okay, so there's a 15... Get out... What are you doing? Get out of the damn way. There's a 15-minute timer for this. So we could do another... What is... One minute, 40 seconds, 50 seconds for a for an out lap or an in lap or whatever it is um, and then another minute and a half so we need to go out just before maybe two minutes two minutes twenty before the end of the the session if we need to okay track rubber is high track grip is high we're on board with with Stroll and he's slightly behind Vettel uh, and he's going to be heading into the pits okay let's speed this up and he should come in. Here comes Vettel. There's a lot of cars out on the track. I know some of their names. I don't know all of them. I know this is Magnussen and Russell and Latifi. Ocon, I know that. Um, Ricardo and Norris, I know some of them. See, look, I'm not as... I'm not as clueless, but as soon as it comes to the strategy stuff, I struggle a little bit. Right, so we should start seeing some actual lap times being being produced. And then... Our driver is back in the pits. You need to reconfigure the car before we can send them back out. Okay. Let's go and take a look. Let's, let's do that. The team will make sure the run plan is updated to include refueling. So all you have to do is fit some fresh tyres. Okay, but here you can see all the tire compounds available this weekend. When making any changes, just be sure you're considering both the condition and the compound of the selected tire. Okay, grip. Tires are the contact point between the car and the track. While on track, tire condition will degrade and tires will lose grip. When tires lose grip, the car will be slower. If tire condition reaches zero, it will fail completely. If two or more of your tires fail, the car will be forced to retire. Each dry compound has its own strengths and weaknesses. Soft, fastest, but least durable. Balance of speed and durability. Hard, slowest, but most durable. Wets and compound, wet compounds. There are also two wet compound tires. Session strain with water on the track. Intermediate wet track, one to four millimeter of water. Very wet track, 
greater than four millimeters of water. Okay, we hear you. But we want maximum performance during qualifying. So let's use a fresh soft compound tire. Soft tires are the fastest in dry conditions. But will I have enough tires? Will I have enough tires for the rest of the race? Is is what I'm thinking here. Does, is that a thing? Are these just for qualifying? I don't know. Okay, so strolls coming in as well. Brilliant. The car's ready to head back out at your say so. It's probably best to do at least one more run before the end of the round. Unless you're feeling very confident about our time so far. I have no idea. Later in the round. But there will also be more traffic. It's up to you to decide when you want to send the car out. Whatever gets us through to Q2. Okay, I have no idea about our time, but it doesn't look so bad. Right? Doesn't look too bad. But you put in the, the fastest time of these. Okay. Okay, so things are going okay right now, right? Let's come back to this one. We can see people finishing laps. We can wait. We've got 10 minutes in, so we can wait a little bit and just see how people perform. And as they complete their, their quick laps, we'll be able to see. I think Magnuson is coming in on a flying lap, I think. So we'll see how he does. He's, he's beating us considerably, as is Russell, by a second and a half and three seconds. I mean, Stroll did get caught up in his lap, right? Which is a bit unfortunate. Um, we need to reconfigure you. I guess we'll put you on these. But also, I think we'll hold on. Let's keep this one up for now and see how things are going. Um, it's not looking good. Of all the cars out, there's only been one that's been slower than us. Um, but Vettel is holding his own up there in the top three for now. But look at the names that haven't been. None of the Red Bulls. Uh, Hamilton hasn't gone out. Some of our competition also hasn't gone out. Um, so we'll see how... That goes now. Uh, Perez has finished a lap. So I think we're going to have to certainly send people out for another lap. Let's um, let's see how S Stroll gets on in a bit. So this is track grip versus expected traffic. So we want to we want to leave it just a little bit, right? Do we send them out about now? You're out, Stroll. Get out there. Oh no, Bottas is going to come around and catch you up. But maybe this is an all right time to go. We can hold out with Vettel because you know we're we're near the top ten at least, uh, and it's the bottom five that that don't go through. So if we come down here, it's these ones that don't go through. We know Stroll is going to be in that lot, um, but the rest. Look at Leclerc is on a flying lap. He's being held up by Bottas. Gonna come flying past Stroll in a bit, I would imagine. Oh my god, it's a bit a bit all over the shop here from Stroll. But Leclerc is catching him up. Are we gonna move out of the way? Holy crap, the speed that's coming up behind us. Sorry. Sorry for being in your way. Okay, so Stroll always come around with six feet. I'm, I tell you what, at some point I'm going to forget to do this and really balls this up. But I think we'll give it a couple more minutes and we'll, or, yeah, and we'll send you out again for another lap. And ironically, really, just getting through the first qualifying is, I mean, it'd be nice to be higher up on the grid, obviously. But really, just getting through the first qualifier is the first task, right? Okay, let's send him out. I know it has not been a couple of minutes, but let's send him out. Looks like Stroll is going to get caught up with Leclerc, but Leclerc got out of the way pretty quickly. Come on, Stroll. We need something. We need something good. I'm going to take control here. I don't know what of, but I'm going to take control. You're going to be attacking. We'll help you manage a car's tire temperature and wear. We don't care. We just, we just need to go right. Pace of drivers' pace impacts the lap times and their temperature uh, of tires. The tires increase, so will the tire wear rate. Select the pace command, the right balance of speed and tyre cons uh, conservation, uh, the right race strategy. While on the track, tyre condition will decrease, 
reducing performance. For a flying lap, I don't think we care, right? Tire condition of both cars. Over time, tire condition will fall, reducing their grip and performance, eventually leading to tire failures and car retirement. Okay, so ultimately this doesn't really matter because we are using everything. Performance push for a short time. They can adjust their ERS strategies and use any battery charge they have. What's the difference between DRS and ERS? I love that question answered. ERS, the energy recovery system, allows the car to harvest energy while braking. This harvested energy is stored in ERS battery. Energy from the battery can then be deployed later to increase the car's output. While the car is braking, energy will be stored in the ERS battery. The battery has a total capacity of 4 megajoules, maybe, uh, and can harvest 2 megajoules each lap. Uh, drivers can select an ERS strategy to set how much energy to deploy in each lap and where to deploy that energy. All ERS strategies will harvest. Okay. There are three ERS strategies that deploy more energy than they harvest, but each use that energy for a different purpose. Overtake and defend are best for getting ahead of cars or for keeping them behind you. Deploy is the fastest strategy available. Okay. So really said we'll manually control this, but there is nothing for us to do. Instead of using energy for performance. Neutral will maintain the current battery charge over a lap, which gives a nice balance of energy deployment and harvesting. Okay. So really there isn't anything for us to do. Is there a way of setting you back to automated? Don't know. Now we've got you as manual, I don't know how to get rid of you. Sorry about that. Okay. So how are we doing? We're right near the bottom. We're in the last five. We need a performance here, Stroll. Come on now. Car 19 is coming round. Has he done any better? I guess we could have looked at like the quali the, the sectors. Oh, Stroll, you suck. And we could have looked at this, right? Where's our man Vettel? He's down here. He's coming round now. What does... He didn't even do a sector here. What does this mean? Does this mean it was terrible? Okay, Vettel. We're looking for something positive here. Car number 12, coming round. Stroll is in. I don't think we send him back out, right? He's garbage. Is that a pony? Do we reconfigure the car and send him out for one last run? I don't know. Do we need this tire? I, I'm going to send you out, right? I'm just going to, I'm just going to send you out. If we've got time, we might have time for another lap, and you need to up your game. Get out there. I know everyone else is coming out, but get out there. How did Vettel do? He did pretty well in the last. Sector, he's still in 12th though, I think. Which isn't great. I think I don't think we made any time up. We could drop down even further here, right? Our qualifying in session one has not been fantastic. Stroll is out of here unless Stroll does something very impressive. I am assuming, what the hell is that car doing? I presume warming the tyres, but... Vettel's on his in-lap, right? If not, Vettel stuck behind behind someone. Uh, who is zooming all over the track? Is that meant to happen? It's very erratic. There comes Vettel, right? Okay, Stroll. What are you doing? You're coming round. You've got traffic all over the place. I'm assuming this is this is warming tyres. I don't know. You're coming round to do. Your flying lap. Here it goes. We need something good here. We need something good, Stroll. Don't let us down. It's not, I mean, it's not great. Session has ended. Do we, do we still get to finish a lap? I don't know. Do we, I think we still get to finish the lap, right? I'm assuming. 
Come on, Stroll. Another car has run wide. Okay. I don't know if that affects us. Come on, Stroll. We need a better middle sector. We're not interested. We just want to finish the finish the, the lap in a better position than we started. It's not looking great so far. What's going on with Hamilton? He's Verstappen, is, I'm assuming, is going to jump above that, right? Hamilton didn't qualify. Is that what you're telling us? Is he still out? No, he's finished. So qualifying for Hamilton didn't go through. Come on, Stroll. We needed a performance. Did we get it? We didn't get it. We did not get it, Stroll. Why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? I didn't even see that Vettel would drop out. Only the first weekend of the season. Plenty of time to improve. Oh God, we suck. Was that my fault? It might be my fault. We suck so bad. How do we? How do we do so bad? We did eight laps with Stroll, and he's really shit. I mean, this is unfortunate, right? We could have sent him back out, maybe, but. You know, this to go from 12th to this is just harsh. I mean, for someone like Hamilton not to qualify, what's that all about? Our rivals Haas have done better than we have, which is, which is a little bit annoying. It's race day. I say our rivals, That's I mean the teams who are also are shit. Underway. Aston Martin did a good job during qualifying, and they're pretty much where everyone expected them to be on the grid. Now it's up to them to defy expectations during the race itself. Mm. Alpha Tauri did rather well in qualifying. Let's see if they can manage to achieve a strong start for the race itself. And clouds are stretching across the sky tonight, which means that teams and drivers alike will be nervously watching the weather radar. And there's going to be a lot for the teams to handle. So will the drivers and their cars be able to cope with the pressure? Let's find out right here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Well, well, the, gr the Bahrain right. Grand Prix. Time for the main event. The Bahrain Grand Prix. This is a great time for us to get Don't some to her. points under our belt. Don't listen so to stay her. Stay focused and push hard. Don't listen to her because the it's not right now. It's tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have the race, the actual race tomorrow. Um, I hope you join us for it. I apologise that qualifying was so bad, but you know we've we've got things to improve, right? I, and we're learning. And I'm pretty rubbish. But tomorrow we will pick up the race. I'm not sure what time these videos go out. Whatever time this video came out today will be the same time tomorrow. I like the idea of us doing this kind of as a, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. If that's not your thing, then let me know and we'll try and we'll condense it all, put it all in one. But F1 2022 main event to come tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. Uh, if you're enjoying the video, please, 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 please leave a like and a comment. It really helps with the whole YouTube thing. Um, if you enjoyed this, please check out my second channel, SDG Cards, where we open lots of card packs uh, and try and complete some collections there. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Scott.Gaming. If you want to support the channel, please check out the Patreon page or the YouTube memberships. Uh, and I will see you all again soon. Thank you.